Hey, it's the Tech Man here. I'm ready to save the day for those of you who want to do desktop publishing for free. LucidPress.com allows anyone to create amazing content for print or for the web. It's very easy to learn, so let's get started. Once you've created a free account at LucidPress.com, it's easy to create a new document. You can start from scratch or select a template from the collection. Of course, you'll have to be logged in to LucidPress, and on the home page, select Documents in the upper right corner. Click the Create button and select New Document. Decide whether you're making a print or digital document. In this tutorial, we'll be doing a print document. We won't be using one of the templates. Let's start with a blank document. Now you'll enter the LucidPress editor. You're given the option to name your document now, or you can see how to name it later on in this tutorial. In either case, let's click OK. The main parts of the editor are the canvas, menu bar, properties bar, content bar, doc, and page thumbnails. In addition, at the bottom of the screen is the mode switch. For this tutorial, we'll just be using the layout mode and the preview mode. Let's go back to layout mode. If you didn't name your document when we first opened it, simply click on the title bar where the name is displayed and give it a name. You can also click File in the menu bar and select Rename Document. Now let's go to the dock on the right side of your screen. We'll start with Page Settings, the top button. Just click it and you'll see the window to adjust Page Layout and Page Fill. With the Page Layout tab selected, you're able to make the following changes in your settings. The page size, the ruler units, the orientation, portrait or landscape. You can change the margins and the bleed. And if you're creating a book or magazine type layout, you can choose facing pages. You can also add a header and or a footer on your pages. Sometimes it's a good idea to select the box first page is different since that might be your title page. In our tutorial we're just creating one page so we don't need to select facing pages. If you select the page fill tab you can change the background to a solid color, a gradient, or even an image by selecting the correct option in the drop-down menu. To close the page settings just click the Page Settings button. Hey, that's it for the first tutorial, our introduction to LucidPress. If you're not going on to work in LucidPress, just exit the program. If you're ready to begin the next tutorial, you could leave the program open, and in Part 2 we'll talk about adding and working with text and images. This has been a Tech Man Tutorial.